Hello everyone. Welcome to the Third Parent Academy. Today, we will be in the kitchen making tea cakes from our Recipes Galore cookbook. Welcome to our kitchen. For today's recipe, you will need one cup of butter softened, four eggs, three teaspoons of baking powder, four cups of all-purpose flour, two cups of sugar, one fourth teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of ground nutmeg. We like to use the whole nutmeg. You just take the whole nutmeg and you grate it on the microplane, just like so. We've already added the eggs, and now we we'll add the sugar and stir. Now we will add the butter. If you're in a bit of a crunch for time, you can always melt the butter in the microwave just as we have. And stir. Next, we add our nutmeg. This is what it looks like on the inside. Mmm, this smells yummy. In goes our baking soda. And next, our baking powder. And then we stir. Last but not least is our flour. We like to mix this in one cup at a time. Cup one is done. Here's cup number two. Two down. Here's cup number three. Last but not least, cup number four. Now, all done stirring. When we make this recipe, it usually makes a lot of tea cake batter. So we like to take at least half of it and put it on some wax paper. Once you have the batter on the wax paper, shape it into a long log like this. And then take the wax paper Flip it over and roll. Like so. And you can attach the ends with the rubber band. The next time you decide you want more tea cakes, Instead of making the whole recipe, you can take this one out of the freezer and let it defrost for about an hour. Then, take your knife and just cut crosswise, like so. Remove the wax paper, place it on your cookie sheet, and bake. Now that our batter is ready, let's preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Now that the oven is set, we can cut our tea cakes. Take a piece of parchment paper and lay it flat on your countertop and then sprinkle with flour. Now, we're ready to roll out our dough. 
sprinkle a little bit of flour onto your rolling pin and just a little bit on top of the dough just so the rolling pin won't stick to your dough. Now let's roll it out. Now it's time to choose the shape and size of your tea cakes. We usually like to use the smaller one, but for special occasions like Valentine's Day, we like to use hearts. If you don't have a cookie cutter or a biscuit cutter, a round glass will do. Now, we're going to dip our cookie cutter into flour and we'll start at the edge and we'll cut. Each time you cut, dip it in flour. That keeps it from sticking to the dough. And you just work your way around the edges of the dough. Now, we are ready to place our tea cakes onto our baking sheet. We like to take a piece of parchment paper and put it on top of our baking sheet, just like that. It keeps the bottom from burning on your tea cakes and they come out all nice and golden brown. You can make your tea cakes as thin or as thick as you like. Ours is about one fourth to one half inch thick. And we'll just put the rest of these on here. And now we're ready to go in the oven. Now we'll put our tea cakes in the oven. And set our timer. I like to cook them for about 10 minutes. Our tea cakes are ready. Let's take a look inside. Wow. It depends on the size of your oven and whether you're cooking with gas or electric as to how many minutes you will need to bake your tea cakes. We choose 10 minutes because it works best for us. And when we take them out of the oven, they're nice and golden on the bottom and light on the top. We also like ours a little moist If you like yours to be a little harder than ours, just leave them in the oven for a couple more minutes. That's all we have for you today. Thanks for joining us in the kitchen for recipes galore. We'll see you again next time.